Alright guys, I've been looking at a little bit of the symbology that's been going on with uh, Brian Head Welch and with his quote-unquote Christian band that is called The Whosoever's. So, we got this one right here doing his one hand over his eye. So, I believe it's right hand your right eye is Lucifer, left eye is Satan, depending on which of the two different sects they are going through of the occult. We're going to look at a couple of Brian's tattoos. So in this tattoo, he's got the one eye symbology that is over his elbow and it's crying and it appears to have rays of light for its eyelashes. We already brought up that this hand sign is the unity of male and female and it's a sign of Lucifer. Um, if you want to be able to find that information it is in the Sean Foyt video that he started the um, Let Us Worship tour in the belly of the beast in the Horror of Babylon, that video. Brian had God's name tattooed on his eyelid right next to stars that are falling. Stars are the fallen angels. That's the symbology of it. And the stars are the ones that were singing that, um, Job, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth when the morning stars sang together? Like, Rick Joyner's morning star ministry is Lucifer worship because the morning stars sang together. Jesus was not the morning star. This is Brian Head Welch's book, and he's got one eye symbology for that one. Miracles and Mistakes on My Way Back to Corn. On the tour dates, we've got a three-pointed crown. The three points makes it into a number three. They do this often in Freemasonry where crowns with three points. The infinity sign, the pagan cross, a halo that does not exist in the Bible, and wings. So they've just made a totem where the Masonic Infinity, I don't, I don't know how to read that, if it's even something that can really be read. Oh, wait, that one is John Bavar. My bad, I just grabbed a wrong picture, but still the same thing. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you understand that the Freemasons put the little finger in front of their mouth, the shh sign, whenever they're trying to speak in symbols. And so this is a an advertisement for Loud Crazy Love, which is the story of Brian Head Welch and his daughter. People are ruthless, especially on the internet. I've heard it all about me. I've heard it all about my dad. People are saying that my dad is in the Illuminati. People come for my dad. Not only Darling. Your dad said that he's in the Illuminati. You have to understand, Freemasons worship Lucifer as God, and your dad's doing their satanic hand signs. Christians do not act like this. As a matter of fact, remember that open mouth and that tongue sticking out, because we're going to use that later on in the video. So, we're going to start in on the Whosoever's, and Brian is a member of the Whosoever's. You happen to see the hidden number 33's inside that shirt logo design? I mean, they're very quite obvious. How about this one? Where it's got Janice, the god with two faces. The right side and the left side of the two faces of the Masonic Phoenix. On this about probably about a month ago on Facebook, and at first.
first when I was watching this video, this is of Corn, a couple of, of the band members, and I guess they're backstage either after or before performance. But um, I was watching this, and at first I was like, oh, great, you know, they're saved, and, you know, they're changing their way. She said they're saved. I know that the closed captioning doesn't say it, but that's what she said. She said, oh, yay, they're saved because they're in, going to lead a prayer. And they gave their life to Jesus, and this is all great and everything. Until I get to the, about the end of the video, and they want the people in the room with them to pray with them. And I'm going to play just a little clip of this video, and you can go and, um, and look it up for yourself and watch the whole video. It's like 7 or 8 minutes, something like that, or 7.45. And um, this is what they want the people to do in prayer to their Heavenly Father. So, check it out. So, just anybody, you know, if you want to do this, just beat it with your heart, and we're going to do it right now. So, anybody who wants to do it, I just say, we're not here, it's not religious, so we can even go. Put your metal hands in the air, and just, and, and we're going to pray for you. Anyone wants to do it, wants to do it, put your metal hands in up. Put them up, man. Anybody wants to do it. And anyone here, if your heart's pounding, and you're not sure, that's you getting called. This is a divine appointment for you. There you go. Put your metal hands. There you go. Put your middle hands in the air. just had the little girl that was hanging by her neck while there was a pedophile standing next to her that was a shadow um, and the little girl was on the swing this video is talking about the guy on the right is the one that came up with the album cover the guy on the left is Brian Head Welch from like back in the 90s before he got the dreads all the way down is where he's got him right now show you like the, the dark side of everything that's innocent pretty much you know because without this it's an innocent picture but when you have the shadow it's the dark side to the picture you know what i mean you know what i mean you know, like the end of to another and potty mouths and fornicators a world of disobedient children of the devil who hate God these are the people you make smile Brian dressing as a woman is normal for the life of an unsaved worldly man but for a man who claims to love God you are not giving any glory to God 
and you are only leading people away from God, making them believe it's okay to dress and behave as a woman. The Bible tells us a different message, Brian. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man putteth on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It is effeminate for a man to do so. God made you a man and not a woman. If he wanted you to dress and act like a woman, God would have made you a woman. God does not make mistakes, Brian. So this is what got me into making today's video is yesterday on the Whosoever's, I came across this. And inside the shoes that they are selling, it has John 3.16 which means that when the people are walking around in town, they are walking on the very sacrifice of Yeshua. Do you understand that? Symbolically, look, in the background, they have the little praying hands. Those are Masonic praying hands, and they've got bones coming out of them. But right here, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever so that they could add their name into it, believes in him, shall not perish, but have eternal life. They put that inside the shoes, so that the occultists that buy them, the children that buy them now, will be walking on the sacrifice of God. Behold, I saw Satan fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning. Arrows represent magic. And these people have been murdering the flesh since 2009. This is one of their uh, posters for their tour in 2012. Second annual session, April 20th. They are a threat to formalized religion. And the base of that is the I am of the I am movement, but they've got Freemasonry, they've got New World Order on the thing, they've got Devil, Den of Thieves, they've got the Buddha. Notice that this wolf has on sheep's clothing and that they are planning to hypnotize you. So I made this for Sean yesterday. I don't know exactly where it was at, so um, I'll have to go find a link for it. And I'll put the full video inside the description. But um, I put closed captioning so that if you can't hear, because this is a recording of the recording, what he's going to say is that there's going to be a verse that's referencing having the mouth open and the tongue. The offspring of adultery, the offspring of whoring, on a, on a spiritual context, and we'll see this actually, verse 4, against whom are you sporting? This idea of wrestling against you, know, they, they, they will not give in. Against whom do you make a wide mouth and stick out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression? Did you hear the part that says that you make your mouth wide and stick out your tongue? Okay, 
in scripture, it's the mark of the beast that is put onto your forehead, or the seal that is put on the 144,000 that is put on the forehead. So these people's thoughts are a lightning bolt, because that's what's on the forehead, and lightning is, behold, I saw Satan fall from heaven like a bolt of lightning. Satan roams around like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. And you don't get it. Because you're blind. That's why they put that don't over the top of the lion's eyes. You don't get it. That That's the roaming lion, seeking whom may devour. So, on this shirt we've got uh, an eagle that's attacking. And we know that eagles that have calyx are replacements for the Masonic Phoenix. We also know that eagles are something to do with Ra. That has something to do with all this Masonic stuff that's going on. This is the Masonic Phoenix. With the threefold flame. With the lightning bolt. And with a sword. And more lightning bolts. Hold on. Threefold flame. This is what I mean by a threefold flame. It's Ascended Master Doctrine. It comes from Lucifer. CBN. Um, all kinds of these guys use them. Hold on. Live from Asbury University. Where they are passing the torch of knowledge. With the three, uh, three fold flame of Gnosis. Knowledge. And ye shall become as gods. Since we're on logos and I'm almost done with this video, what do you see here? I showed this to a friend earlier today and she said, I see a star. She was correct. That is a star inside of a circle which makes a pentagram. That's also an anarchist logo. And it belongs to Teen Challenge. Notice how this Teen Challenge has a chevron over the person's head because the chevron equals 33 in Freemasonry. We've already gone over the um, anchor being Freemason inside the Hillsong video. The It's called Hillsong Hustlers. If you'd like to go see that one, it's the anchor with the rope is a Freemason logo. This adult teen challenge, see how that is an M with another M on top of it for Master Mason, and there is a square above it, then each of those chevrons is a 33. So each side on the right-hand side and the left-hand side is three chevrons, so each of those things says 666. You just have to learn how to read these codes, guys. It's not that difficult. It's basic, just a couple of things that you have to learn, and you can find all the Freemasons. How about inside this one? Do you guys see the hidden number 33? It's not that difficult. Come on. See the number 33? It's right there. It's smacking you in the face. Alright. I'm ready for bed. So, shalom. I hope you guys learned something from that or could take something from that. Go back and start getting back into God's word because that's the only way that we're getting out of this paradigm because these people are nuts and they're all coming after us.